peacock fruit. Droplets of sunlight shine over a sea of grass. The sky is a blue with a strong contrast. The peace is evident and felt in the breeze. Two ants spiral their way around a tree. They've left their colony so they can return with fruit, searching nearby trees for those juicy goods. See, ants are a collective, so they have no names. But for the story's sake, we'll call them Egos and Egg as they work their way up the tree and its hardened core. The two spot a fruit they've never seen before. Let's slow it down a bit, guys. Let's get a little uh, curious with it, a little avant-garde maybe too. (laughs) This fruit they've never seen before, the most marvelous blue they'd ever seen, Egos and Egg knew exactly which path to take up the tree so they could take it down carefully. As they got closer to this fruit, something doesn't seem right. Egg, I think this fruit can move. Yes, and I think it's staring at us too. But one eye is on me and the other's on you. Excuse me, blue thing. Are you a fruit? The fruit replied. Ants, a question for you both. Which color do you like the most? Egos and Egg, taken aback, surprised by the fact the fruit can interact. Um, I like pink, said Egg. It tastes so juicy. I like orange, said Egos, thinking about sushi. Interesting choices. I'll see what I can do. The fruit squirmed and turned into a coral-colored hue. (laughs) Wow! A Mazamantana, the ant said. Are you what the humans call a magician? No, the voice chuckled. I am a chameleon. But how did you change the color of your life? I've never seen anything like that with my eyes. Let's slow it down just a tad. Well, they were gifts, rewards for my experiences. The chameleon changed back into the blue that originally tricked the two into thinking he was fruit. This color was a gift from my oldest friend. I felt like today's worthy of letting those colors reflect. What other gifts do you have? Egos and Egg said eagerly, the two in awe over his body's scenery. Well, the chameleon said, this is the red, the passionate flames gifted from the phoenix's head. This is the brown, Gifted from the wisdom I found from the king with nine crowns. I call this color the black. Gifted from the abyss when I stared back. This beautiful gift is the yellow. Given to me by a fellow who never told me his name. But his kindness could not be misplaced. This is the green A gift from the sea that lies below this tree, always reminding me to grow and join in with the wind's flow. This gift, the purple, how I got this gift was hurtful, but I still show its shades, because in time that pain will rearrange. The color's meaning is no longer the same. These gifts are amazing, Egos and Egg cheered. If we brought you back to our colony, you'd be revered. But what about the blue? You said it was from a friend. How come this gift wasn't mentioned? Ah, it sounds silly, the chameleon said giggly. But this gift was a gift from me. My original color is the magnificent blue. 
It helps remind me that I've always stayed true, despite all my changes. I know who I am. Deep down in my core, the same blue chameleon. Oh, earlier you ants were saying you were looking for some fruit. If you head down this tree and follow its roots, you should be led to some grapes down in the south. Take it back to your colony and feed every mouth. Gee, Mr. Chameleon, you sure are kind. And never have I seen colors so sublime. Egos and Egg thanked the chameleon before they left. Happiness was beating in all of their chests. The chameleon turned around and went back to his blue. When he realized he'd received a new gift from the two, a brand new look, a coral colored hue. Thank you.